welcome back everybody to Detroit Knife Reviewer. Today I have a little bit different video for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to install Ghost Maritime Spring Cups or any Maritime Spring Cups or just switch the Spring Puck Cups out in your Glock. It's going to be about the same process for any Glock you have so this could be a helpful video and it shows you, you'll be see how to remove the firing pin, the firing pin spring. I've used other products from Ghost in the past and have been relatively happy with them. I have not really had any issues with them. I put a Ghost spring kit in my Glock 17 and definitely improved trigger pull and made it a lot more crisp. So without further ado, let's break into here. I already have the spring cup, the Maritime spring cups installed in my firearm, but I'm going to break it down, pull them out, and put them back in. You'll see these are the OEM ones that came in the Glock itself. So. First thing you want to do, make sure that the firearm is 100% unloaded and that you are safe. So we've got no magazine, no bolts in the chamber. To break the Glock down, it's very simple, decock it. The easiest way to do this is wrap your hand around the outside, pull the slide back just a little bit, and then this is the release for the slide. Is this, you're going to have to pull down on both sides here and here at the same time. So the easiest way, wrap your hand around the outside like this. Pull this down and then that's going to release the slide for you. Just like that. You can set this piece aside, pull the spring and your barrel out of the slide. And inside here is where the firing pin and the springs and everything you need to get to are all inside here under the back plate. So if you want to get a small screwdriver, a pick, or a tool or anything like that, use that to you're going to depress this spring here and that's going to take the tension off this back plate and you'll be able to slide it it'll just pop right off like that and then don't want anything shooting worse so slowly let that go you can see it pops right out and then this is another thing this is for this plunger you don't have to worry about that in this so only thing we're going to do here this is the firing pin with the firing pin spring on it and then here are those spring cups the spring cups are what holds it retains the this spring onto the firing pin here. This is the firing pin spring, as you can see there. So, to get that off, you simply pull this spring back, and both holes will fall right off for you. In this case, if they were the factory springs, you would grab your new maritime springs and put those in. Those ones are already on there, so I'm going to hold that one in right there. Now they're both on there. You want to make sure that it's 100% seated. You don't want the spring to come off anywhere. And this looks pretty decent. There, the spring is centered. And how what these the whole purpose of these is to allow grease, dirt, oil, grime, water. That's why the maritime comes into the play. The normal spring cups seal inside this tube where the firing pin goes, and it kind of can make a seal. And if no water can get past that can cause a misfire or a jam if you happen to be shooting your Glock underwater which I have done before <laughs> so now that those are installed you want to look verify that it's gonna go in there smoothly they move back and forth I did have to take a little bit of some fine sandpaper and sand around the outside of them it was a little sticky before and I just didn't want to have to deal with the anything not being 100% smooth but these you can see move in there just fine so then we can take this here the back plate got my American flag one slide it part way in Oops. you just have to depress this all the way down until it slides over that get my screwdriver here then push in this other pin here clicks right into place and then from there Drop the barrel and the recoil spring back in and put the slide back down, pack it, make sure everything's going to work good, fires, and now you have the ability to shoot your Glock underwater if you so choose. Thanks for tuning in guys and uh, come back next Monday for another episode of Detroit Knife Viewer.